I'm Carolyn Duby and I'm going to be sharing some of my mess making paint time with you. I have been playing with a uh, new tool from Catalyst and it's this great sort of rubber, I think they call them blades, um, but I think of it as just this cool little rubber thing. Nice part about it is I don't like the big long handle and they just come right off so I actually don't use the handles on these. I have them in all different sizes um, and they're nice. They even label what size they are in here so I can tell you like this is the big old honkin 50 size that's the 30 size and that's the 15. Um, so I've got some in each size different ones. One of the things I've always liked about mixed media is that you see all these wonderful layers of paint and color that build up but I'm intensely impatient and usually to get this I have to let paints dry in between layers or <laughs> I have to be very careful with the brush and, and use a very dry brush and I'm very heavy-handed with my brush um, so when I started playing with these I realized hey, hey I don't have to wait and I don't have to be very careful so what I'm gonna do is I was this is actually a piece of cardboard from when I had used up a pack of paper I just started playing on it never thought it would go anywhere so I didn't have the video camera running but here's where I'm at with it and I'm going to pick apart, this is sort of a little old lady in this very um, abstract form for me. And I've got this scarf going on here. I started her with one of the, one of these tools so I get all the nice little ridges in it. And I want to add some more definition to her. So that's what I'm going to work on and I'm actually going to zoom in so you can really see how these tools work. So I've got the scarf and I am going to play with um, this one, number 06 is what they call it. When I use these, I don't even put paint on the palette anymore. I actually just take it straight out of the tube. And I'm going to try and find my orange. There's my orange. I think I want some orange in her. And all I do is kind of squirt a little bit right on the edge. And then I kind of come in and I can make little lines of color. Not a lot of color just a little something. A little squirt there. And all the ridges that I made from before, it does a nice job catching those. Kind of coming in there. If I had a brush, I would have way too much color added on there. Okay, so I've got the orange. You know what? I want some pink in there. Let's see. Quinna, Quinna whatever magenta. My tongue is tying on me today. And I'm going to use a different one, different blade. I'm going to use this one, the little post, I call it the postage mark one, because it looks like a little stamp. And then I can go in there and just make little lines and add more to her without getting a lot of paint on her. I'm not wasting any paint on my palette or in cleaning up a brush. These things, by the way, they are awesome because you don't really have to clean them, so that makes me happy. Like, here's one from I used another time, and I just kind of bend it, and all the paint just peels off it if I want to. I mean, it's just... So I don't really have to worry about cleaning these either. Oop, got a little bit of color there. Um, so that's one of the things I really like about these. But I'm just starting to build up bits and layers of color, which whenever I've tried to do that with a paintbrush... I just get mud, especially if I'm doing it while it's still wet, if, I don't, if I'm not patient enough and let it dry between layers, which I'm usually not that patient. Um, let's see, oh, here's another funny little shape that I like. Um, I'll put a little... Now when I, oh, you can't see what I was doing. I was rubbing up there, ha ha. What I've done there is just created some lines in it, which to me just add a little bit of depth, adds a touch of color, but not a ton. Again, if I'd had a brush out, there's no way I could have done that on the brush. So I've got this, it's got some great colors in it, the purples and the uh, oranges and the yellows working together, but I think I want something more there. So what do I do? Do I want to play around with my little Reiki one? Cause that's what I used over there. Hmm. 
Now I'm using small amounts of paint with these and you can actually, it's like, you can use it to like almost like frost a cake if you want big thick texture. These things rock at that too. You know what? I'm going to put a little more purple in that one. So I've got my purple and I'm just going to touch the tips of it on there. Oops, that's a lot on there. And then I'm going to kind of It doesn't add a lot of color. It adds that nice little subtle bits that I've never been able to really do without a whole lot of patience and making things dry in between each layer. And I just, I don't have patience for that. So I get to add these little bits of color. And I love, I don't have any guilt when I'm using my, my expensive fancy paints, my Goldens because I'm not wasting a bunch on the brush. I am not um, wasting a bunch on the palette. I mean, just little touches of it. Oh, that just make, I mean, just mm -hmm. love, love the layers of color in that.